Hey guys, welcome to another lunch and review. Today I'm going to try this Boomerang's Aussie inspired pies. This is a steak and potato pie. It looks really good. It's kind of like a pot pie, but um, it's it's a little bit different, but it's kind of like a pot pie. No preservatives, real food, um, 390 calories per pie. No antibiotics or hormones ever. Ready in three and a half minutes. Keep it frozen. Let's see if there's anything else on here. So here's the information for you. So the directions are okay there. So these are, can you do it in the oven? You can do these in a regular oven. Of course, we don't do those, I mean, anything in the oven here, but here's the directions. By the way, I got these at the Fresh Time Market. It's a local um, like market in Lexington for $3.99. I'm not sure if they have Fresh Time other places or not, but, but anyway, that's where we got it at. So we uh, open one side flap and vent while heating uh, in a microwavable box. Decrease time for three minutes for higher wattage migrants. So I'm gonna do that three and a half minutes. Um, and let make sure it's uh, 165 degrees. Let's stand for five minutes after heating. So, all that being said, if you look inside there, you can see it's kind of like a pot pie. The top doesn't seal as well as a pot pie, but it's got like a little silver crisping tray uh, panel on the top. And that one has a bunch of stuff on top of it. So hmm, that looks pretty good. So anyway, I'm gonna get this, um, well, I've seen these I'm going to, um, you, you basically just leave the box vented like this and put it in the microwave for three and a half minutes and then I'll be back. Hey, here it is out of the microwave and um, it looks pretty good. I'm going to break up this top a little bit to let the steam out, but um, yeah, I like the seasoning on top. Looks good. Um, looks like it has some meat potatoes in there. Not super thick, but it's, um, oops, sorry, not super like thick up and down, but it looks like it has plenty of, of stuff in there. So I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, let it cool off, finish cooking, whatever, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off, so I've got meat, potatoes, and, and crust. So here we go. Mm. I like the seasoning on that, on the beef. It's pretty good. The, um, the difference between these and like a pot pie is there's, first of all, this one only has beef and potatoes, so that's one difference. Um, second, there's not as much like gravy inside. There's really more just the meat and potatoes and just a slight amount of gravy or sauce or whatever you want to call it inside. There's not a lot of it. Um, I like the seasoning on the beef and the potatoes are cooked very, very well. The beef are in smaller pieces. I don't know if you can tell, but there's not, they're not real huge hunks or anything. They're just little small pieces. This is about the size of them. All right, here. It's about the size of them. Pretty good. They're a little tough, but not too bad. Kind of like a, um, not the really high-end roast, but the a little bit cheaper roast you'd buy at the store and you like um, cooked it in a crock pot for, for the day. That's kind of the, the, the toughness you get out of it. It's not, like I said, it's not like gristly or really hard. It's just a little bit tough. Um, overall, pretty good. Probably not my favorite one, but um, definitely a good flavor. And I, I guarantee if you got these fresh, it'd be really, really good. So um, I'm gonna give this one three and a half. They're, they're good, not super exciting, but, um, but they are good. I wish there was a little bit more gravy in there um, because I like a little bit of gravy with my, with my pies. So I wish there was a little more gravy in there, but, uh, but overall, pretty, pretty good quality flavor and everything's okay. So yeah, I'll give it a three and a half. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.